To see how we made the character and dash mechanic, check the description for the previous tutorials. Now let's add the wall slide. But another feature it had was while you're touching the wall, you move down very slowly. Get a mover. Uh, this also has a touching output. So while we're touching something, uh, we want to slow our movement. So we want the movement to be zero and we don't need any strength. And we'll just have some sort of a little bit of damping. Damping, so strength in a, in a mover is how much effort it puts into getting us up to this speed. And damping is generally how much effort it puts us into slowing down to this speed if we're going too fast. So if that speed is zero, then a little bit of damping will try and slow us down to zero. So if if I just demonstrate by just putting them in the air and then play that, we have that higher damping. So it's not moving down at all. So if we lower that a little bit, you can see it's starting to go starting to fall from gravity. So maybe we'll put it at 90% and that'll be fine. But I guess if it gets shoved in a different direction, we don't want it to affect anything. So let's just have a little test set up to show what I mean. Uh, yeah, so if I like shove them to the side, it's kind of slowing it down sideways as well but we only want it to affect going up and down. We want it to go up and down slower. So we'll turn the damping in the other directions down to zero and just leave that 100%. And this is 100% of this overall damping setting. So now we'll try. So now it's kind of sending him flying. I don't think that is part of the game originally, but like it's part of our game, I guess. Uh, so even if we don't use that, it's still like, uh, this is kind of more technically what we were aiming for. So we only want that to happen while we're touching a wall. So if we have the touching, powering this up and down damping, let's see how that works. So let's jump and we can barely see anything now. So um, I'm just going to move this back. Yeah, so now we're kind of, now we've got a bit of a wall slide. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. If we if we are jumping upwards, it's kind of making it so we can't jump that high. Uh, we only want it to affect stuff if we're already moving down, really, so that it only, we can still jump up, but um, it, we won't be too stuck to it when we're already next to it. Um, so I'll just adjust this. So we want to know if we are falling. And we actually have from this puppet interface, we can just make a copy of that. Or if you can't find that, you can go to the gameplay gear section and the puppet interface. And this has an output for in the, in the third tab for when you're descending, jump descent. So you're in the air, moving downwards, then that's, that will send a signal. So if we use, we want to know if we're touching the wall and we're falling. So we'll use an AND gate for that. And only then we will slow the descent. So this is slow, fall. Ah, so it's kind of, yeah. So one thing with, with this is that it's meant to, it's meant for animation so that you kind of slowly change into this other pose while you're falling. Um, so you just want to know if that is above, above zero. So it kind of has this slow ramp up so that it's not too harsh an animation from zero to one. So put that into there. And so the calculator will put it into equals mode. So if A, which is the jump descent, um, is more than zero, then we want to allow this slow fall thing. Let's try that. Yes, that seems to work. And if I do a double jump to get higher, it's still working. Um, cool. 